Calculating your costs using the dry lining module couldn't be easier. I will enter the length of the wall here in the red box. This is 5 linear metres. I then enter the wall height here. This is 2.4 linear metres. As this module works on a total linear metre basis, if you are pricing rooms or walls that had different heights or required different types of insulation, you would simply bring in further modules, give them an individual name, for example lounge, kitchen and so on, then just enter the different details. We can see the default for the centres is set at 0.6 linear metres, or 600 mil. I will be leaving this as it is, but you can change this here in cell, or if you click on the red question mark on the Batten's line, you can change it in the picture. I will need 26 linear metres of sawn for my battens. If you wanted to choose a different material, you would just use the drop down menu to click what you wanted. I'm going to see what's been allowed for my noggins, so I'll click on the red question mark. The picture tells me that there are two rows of noggins allowed for. I only want to use one, so I'll change this number to 1 and click Enter Details. If you did not wish to use any noggins, you could enter a zero in the picture, or just untick the noggins line. By clicking on the red question mark for the bottom and top plates, the picture shows me how many rows of top and bottom plates have been allowed. I will be using three rows of bottom plates, so I will change this number to a three, and click Enter Details. The vapour barrier, insulation, plasterboard and jointing tape have all been calculated. If you want to change any of the default material selections, just click on the drop-down menu and select what you require, and the pricing sheet will automatically adjust to reflect your choices. Two bags of plaster have been allowed for. If I click on the red question mark, I can see the default is set so each bag covers 9 metres square. I am happy with this, but you could change it if you wish. Just to show you how much detail this module goes into, I will click on the fixings for the baton. As you can see, one fixing has been allowed every 1.6 linear metres. I will leave this as it is, but you could change it. And again, by clicking on the fixings for the plasterboard here, you can either stick with the self-explanatory default measurements that are shown in the picture, or put in your own measurements and you'll know exactly how many nails per board you will be using. It really does cover everything you will need, right down to the last screw and nail. My dry lining is priced, and all of the totals for my materials, hours, labour, and the overall total are shown here along the bottom. As you will recall, all of this was calculated just by entering the height and length of the walls, and I was able to easily and quickly alter the defaults so my costs met my exact requirements.